Welcome back to Woody's Rooms. This is Woody. This is an uncut version of me demonstrating how I made my automatic humidifier with Inkbird controller. Uh, leave comments below. Thank you. You're looking at the humidity system I have. This is the Inkbird humidity controller. Right now it's calling for humidity because I was just in there and it's set for 83. It's also set, that's the set point. I also got the alarm set for 95 and the alarm is set for 50. So if it gets below 50, the alarm goes off. So if I leave the door open, which I don't do, if this fan got stuck on the exhaust fan and sucked all the air out and kept sucking, it would go into alarm. So I would come down and hear it. It's pretty loud. This is in the basement. We're upstairs, 1200 square foot house. So we're at the other end of the house. You can still hear it. Um, yeah, that is that. Down here we have your main fan. The main fan sucks it out. This is air coming out of your tent. I don't have fresh air going into my steam maker. Okay. Little fan kicks on when the humidity kicks on. So here comes the humidity. That's been in here for a year and a half. No problems. This unit, let me turn the light on. This unit has an automatic filler. This is a Fluid Master toilet bowl filler. The hose that normally goes into the tube in the tank, I just have it down, fed down into the water. So, when that thing needs water, this valve goes into refill mode. There it goes into refill. Oh, stop. Okay, down here we have the toilet extruding from the bottom of the tub. This tub has lower, it's got this groove in it. You have to put it in the bottom of this groove right in the center. You don't want to screw that up. It comes with a seal. That seal has been working since I installed it. It's very simple to do. You put a 7 8 drill bit through the bottom of this tub. You run that through, you screw that on with your fingers. That's only finger tight. I hooked it up to its normal toilet tank hose, okay? This is just a normal toilet hose. It goes down, you have to buy a coupler that goes in between this tank toilet hose and this flex pipe. This flex pipe is sold as they're made in the USA. Look at that. Good old USA. Um, whatever. Is sold in 25 foot lengths. I have a shutoff valve about a foot away, two feet away from there. Why do I have that? If I have to change anything, I can shut that off and I can take apart this. I can take apart this. I can take apart the assembly inside. I don't have to worry about shutting it off in the main. Shutting it off in the main is pain in the ass because you have to lift it to ceiling tile. This hooks in between, these thread on, you turn that, closes the valve, you open it up, it opens the valve. This runs back to a quarter inch copper pipe that I put a, bear with me. So this is a shark bite valve with the shut off half inch shark bite to three eighths water hose water main, water line three eighths water line your shut off is here yeah I could shut it off here how do you install this here's your main Here's the main for the, for, oh sorry, that's not the right pipe. Oh sorry, the main is over there. Shut off the main water, cut the pipe, put a bucket under it, drain the water out. Get your shark bite, shove it over one end, pull the pipe into it, pull the pipe together. There's always slack in pipe. There's rarely ever slack in pipe. You might have to cut a piece of the copper pipe after you cut the pipe. It might be too tight. Put this on, boom, boom, 
shark bites on, run all that line, hook that all up. That's how you install your water line for your humidifier, okay? One shut off, easy shut off, two shut off. All right. <laughs>